do not know what to say anymore. And also, just before I start this video, I'm in a different location, as you can probably tell, I'm in a, a studio. The light, for some reason, is making a stupid noise, but I don't really care, so as long as you hear my voice, that's good enough. Um, I don't know what to say. We are absolute crap. It sort of gets to a point for me where, as the title of the video says, I don't know what analysis to do because we keep on going back to the same things, you know, team selection, the performances of certain players. Now, the weird thing about today is I, it was it was a very weird game. I don't think we were dominated from the first to 90 minutes. I mean, maybe people saw it differently. A lot of things went wrong today, and you know, I, I, that doesn't mean that West Ham didn't deserve to win. I'm not saying that at all. I think West Ham definitely deserved to win. They took their chances, defended well. It becomes hard to kind of do some sort of analysis about the game. Let's talk about the obvious ones. Kurt Zuma, what is that guy doing at right back? I do not understand why Kurt Zuma is playing at right back. Uh, we had a blessing in disguise, and I'm not saying for one second that I was happy when Ivanovic got injured, and I really want to stress that because people misinterpret things. But we get a blessing in disguise with the fact that Ivanovic, who's probably one of our worst players this season, gets injured, which is a shame. But it gives the opportunity for Babarama to come in, which he did against uh, did against Aston Villa. We won the game. He had he had a decent game, things to improve on, which is going to come over time. I love Kurt Zuma, but I, the man doesn't belong at right back. He just doesn't. I swear to you, if Ivanovic was playing today, he would have got blamed for each goal. And once again, I'm not blaming Kurt Zuma. He's been put in a position that he's obviously not used to. And he's supposed to play like an actual right back. As for Aspilicueta will play like an actual right back. Bubba Rama will play like a natural left back because that's the positions they're used to. So there's no point for me just playing at the moment because we're in a situation where our form is so kind of uneven and one week we're playing well and then the next week we're sort of playing well maybe we're getting a result but and then most of the games we're losing you know we can't be just randomly putting players in situations for me you have to put players in the right place and when it's so obvious and it's um i, I did see a good point on twitter before the game someone said to me I, don't, I can't remember who they were, but someone said to me, you know, maybe because of the strength and the physical prowess of, of West Ham, maybe he put him in there. I can understand that, but once again, I still think Aspilicueta and, and Baba Rahman, for me, would have made me more comfortable. It was the one position I looked at. It, it came from the second goal. Sure, we were down to 10 men. Nemanja Matic, what was he doing? I do not know. We came back into it. I'm sorry, I'm because I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm going from subject to subject because it's so hard to kind of talk about and kind of structure this out because there there are so many things going on at the moment. So we get back into the game. This is why it's a little bit weird because we get back into the game one one, and I'm thinking, well, we can. How are we back into this game? And also, we can actually do this because West Ham was sitting back. I don't know if it was maybe arrogance on their part or they were just being kind of negative in the game. You know, I think we we just started to press them a lot more. We seem to be doing things better. And then uh, later on, Andy Carroll comes on. I thought actually we were going to deal with him quite well because I thought bringing on Andy Carroll and then going a bit more direct, uh, that's bread and butter for, for Gaza and JT. You know, that is bread and butter for them. So I thought actually I think that's going to work in our favour. But of course it didn't and, and Carroll scores. Um, and then that was basically the game. Um, so just just overall, and I wanna, once again, I'm going to go to Jose and I'm going to say I do not want him to be sacked. And I want to say that I do not want him to be sacked. It is the most stupid thing we could do at the moment in my opinion and I know there's gonna be loads of people right now in the comments telling me how could you not want Jose out look at what he's doing look at the team selection managers deserve time and you know I'm looking at a guy who's done absolutely so much for our club um, only won us the league he's won us the league this year you know that's what people forget it's like what five or six months ago we, we were lifting that Premier League sure this season has been an absolute shambles I hate this season I absolutely hate this season. We've lost half of our games, I think, in the Premier League. We played 10, lost five of them. That is absolutely shambolic for a team like Chelsea. It is absolutely unacceptable uh, to keep on losing, to keep on putting bad performances in on Jose's part for keep on playing players out of position and also players who shouldn't be in the team. You know, um, Ruben Lotus sheep you promise someone an extended run of games, you give them an extended run of games. How is he ever supposed to develop? I know people were telling me that, well, Lotus sheep didn't have the best game. I don't care. Um, and, and once again, that may sound a bit hypocritical, but I want to see you get given a chance. And Loftus-Cheek, for me, is going to bring so much enthusiasm to this team. And why isn't he playing? And, you know, I, I think that who do you replace him with? It Maybe there was a bit of conundrum with Jose because he probably looked at it like 
he probably thought that maybe bringing off the sheet it seemed to give some of the of the team a, um, a kick up the backside you know Fabregas played a little bit better in Kiev Matic had a better game Ramirez as well stepped up his game so probably in his head he was thinking I can't drop these players especially for a game against West Ham I just think when you promise a player an extended run of games they deserve an extended run of games um, so I don't know how he's ever going to ve develop at Chelsea when he's been given he's been promised games and he's been given 45 minutes in the last three games it's not good um, and you know I think this is going to be a really pivotal moment I spoke to some people um, about the situation just after the game before coming on here I think this is going to be a very pivotal 24 48 hours I'm back to where I was after Southampton where I was worried about him pulling the trigger Abramovich pulling the trigger it definitely felt when he got sent off at half time which I don't know the reason uh, probably because it was Chelsea and it was a bad day you know just send him to the stands anyway because you know to make things worse you know I, I I'm sticking behind our manager and that's the way it should be give him time to, to to fix things but i'm worried that he won't be given time or he'll walk out you know and that's what i don't want i think that's like a lot of us don't want but it's looking very hairy so i'll be at the game at stoke on tuesday me and louis from 100 chelsea are going up there to the game i'll be doing the fan cams after outside of britannia so you can see me there I'm actually looking forward to the game. That's how crazy being a football supporter is. I'm actually looking forward to the game. Hopefully Loftus-Cheek will be back in the side and hopefully we can win. But let me know your thoughts on everything I've said in the comments below. I'll be back to my usual studio or, or background uh, for the next uh, review next time you see me on camera. So thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter, at Son of Chelsea. Also, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Much more FIFA content coming to the channel and I will see you again.